Hello dear students, how are you all? I hope that you all are keeping yourself safe at home. Here I am back to teach you computers. But before proceeding, I would like to discuss the answers of the questions which I had given you in your 10th assignment. Have a look. See children, this is how you have to write in your notebook. At the topmost, you have to write down 10th homework. And here you have to put the date on whichever date you are working. Here on the first line, you have to write down chapter 1. And in the next line, you have to write down chapter's name, that is computer or machine. Now here is the first question. Name the following. First question is two types of objects. Here you have to tell the two types of objects. What are the two types of objects? Yes, natural object and man-made object. Very good. Next question is two natural objects. Children, you have to write down any two natural objects. Flower, sun, mountain. Next question is two man-made objects. Children, here you have to write down the names of any two man-made objects. It could be bike, car, cycle, table, chair, fan, etc. And the last question is two electronic machines. Here you have to write down the name of two machines which works on electricity. Computer, juicer and television you can write. You can write uh, fan also. This is how you have to write down in your notebook. And children, please make sure that you would spell words correctly. This is your computer book. Open page number 14. Today, we are going to study about the computer or man-made machine. But before this, I would like to recall you about what we have studied in our previous video. We have studied about the types of objects, that is, natural objects like sun, flowers, mountains, etc., which are made by God. And next, man-made objects like cycle, TV, bike, which are made by men. Next, we have studied about the machines. Machines make our work easier. Computer is also a machine. So now, let's begin with our next topic, computer, a man-made machine. Now children, what is a computer? A computer is an electronic machine. It works on our instructions. Now children, computer is an electronic machine means it works on electricity. And it works according to the instructions given by us. Now, let's understand about its parts. But before this, let me tell you something. Children, as you can see in this picture, that our body is made up of different parts. Can you name any five parts of your body? Okay, yes. Eye, mouth, finger, head, hair, etc. These are the parts of our body. I have shown you this picture just to tell you that our body is made up of different parts. The same way, computer is also made up of different parts. A computer can only be able to work when all its parts work together. A computer is made up of four main parts. How many parts? Four main parts. What are they? They are monitor. M-O-N-I-T-O-R, monitor, CPU, this is CPU, mouse, M-O-U-S-E, mouse, this is a mouse, and this is a keyboard, K-E-Y-B-O-A-R-D, keyboard. Now, let me explain you one by one about all these parts. Look at this picture, this is a monitor, what is this? This is a monitor. A computer monitor displays information in pictorial form. Now here we can see a picture of a keyboard. The keyboard is a device used to input information into a computer. This keyboard contains many buttons called keys. 
Now here comes the main part of a computer. Can you tell me what is this? Yes, this is a CPU. The full form of CPU is Central Processing Unit. It is the brain of a computer. It can do many calculations. Now children, here comes a most important question that if I ask which part is known as the brain of the computer, then you would say CPU, Central Processing Unit. Now here comes the picture of a computer mouse. Children, why we call it a mouse? Because it seems like a real mouse with a long tail. Yes, the mouse is used to move a cursor around the screen. It is also used to point or select any object on the screen. Now children, do you know that what sound does a mouse make? Yes, it makes a click sound. Children, now move on to page number 15. Here it is given an activity. Ten -ten! Fun time. Now let me read out the instructions for you. Complete the picture given below and color it. Now children, what you have to do? You have to join these dots with the help of the pencil to complete this picture and after that you have to color it okay children you have to color this picture very beautifully if you want to impress me just kidding use your creative skills and color the picture very beautifully now let's move on to our next topic types of computer and read about it desktop computer a computer kept on a desk or a table is known as a desktop computer. It is also known as personal computer or PC. These computers can be used in offices, at homes, in school, library. Now children, in this picture we can see that a computer is kept on a table. That's why this computer is known as desktop computer. We can use them in our offices, at homes and in our schools too. And turn on to page number 60. Let's read the next type of computer. That is laptop computer. Laptop computer is a small computer. It is like a notebook. It is very handy. You can easily carry it from one place to another. Generally, it is used in offices, meetings, seminars, etc. So children, laptop computer is a small computer like a notebook. They can be kept on our lap also. That's why they are called laptops. You all must have seen laptops, isn't it? You can easily carry them from one place to another. Okay children, let's have a recap of what we have studied till now. We have studied about the parts of computer. What are the parts of computer? Yes, monitor, keyboard, CPU, mouse. They all are the parts of computer. Next, we have studied about the types of computers. Desktop computer and laptop computers. Now children, can you tell me what is a desktop computer? Yes. A computer that can be kept on the table with a CPU cabinet. Now tell me what is a laptop? Yes, small computers that can be kept on our lap are called laptops. They can be carried easily anywhere. Okay children, I hope that you all have understood the chapter very well. And here we have come to the end of the chapter 1. In our next video, we are going to do the exercises given in your book. The children till then, what you have to do, you have to go through the book again and again, read the chapter loudly and try to understand it. I just hope that you all have understood the chapter and paid attention while watching the video. We'll meet you soon in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay home and complete your work.